Is it possible to glorify God through the enjoyment of music, movies, literature, etc., produced by secular artists? Yes. Um, I assume the computer you're holding there was probably not built by Christians. <laughs> and I hope that you are glorifying God as you tap away at it. And, and of course, out from there, just as a thousand things we use all day long. And God says, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, and he knows that you're eating this meat that may have been sacrificed to idols. So that means it was probably butchered by an unbeliever, handled by an unbeliever, shipped by an unbeliever, may have been cooked by an unbelieving what, cook. And, and here you are savoring the product of all those unbelievers' work because you are in that moment giving thanks to God for it, recognizing the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and taking the strength and the joy that comes from it to render back to him. Now, with the arts and with the media, it, it's more morally complex than food, but it's the same principle. The complexity of it is um, in those moments, what do you do with the moral elements of it that are so contrary to your faith? And, and that, I would say, I'll just, I'll just point out one principle, because we could talk on this forever. What concerns me is the distinction between entertainment and cultural analysis. To, to watch something, to study the culture, learn from the culture, be more able to interact with unbelievers for the sake of the glory of Christ is one thing. To just sit and bask in nudity, bask in 50 F words, bask in a worldview that is shot through with arrogance to the core and enjoy it. Hmm. Hmm. That seems to think something's going on in here. And frankly, I have tasted it big time. I, I think today um, we are going to have to work at not being shaped by the world because the world has made its worldview so scintillatingly attractive. Movie after movie after movie has come out and, and most young reform people are, I would say, indiscriminate. Let's go to a movie tonight, okay? And then we just take the best. None of them are any good probably in that theater on that night. And you're just gonna do it because that's what you do. You, you go to movies on Friday night or whatever. And then, of course, you think, oh, well, this, we're going we're gonna, to you know, Christianize this thing somehow. And I just think we need to test our hearts big time, big time, about why are we able to enjoy hell-bound, God-ignoring, Christ-dishonoring, false worldviews because we can give it a little, little twist at the end that it taught us this or that about the world. So, I think the main thing I'm saying there is test your heart as to whether in entertainment is defaulting to the world or to something more wholesome. We live in an age where we tend to default to the world for entertainment.